Good day kids. Here we are again with another episode of our Industrial Arts 6 Conduct Simple Survey Using Technology, another data gathering method. I am your teacher, James Urbeo, and I hope you would listen attentively with the discussion I have prepared for you. So sit back and enjoy learning. Industrial at 6. Conduct Simple Survey Using Technology, another data gathering method. Learning Competencies. 1. Determine the market trends on products made of bamboo, wood, and metal. 2. Enumerate the different factors that affects costumer preference of products. 3. Identify the type sources of innovative finishing materials and accessories and designs. 4. Apply processes in enhancing decorating your product. Are you planning to improve your product or project to make it more saleable? Do you know the existing products now in the market that are trending? This lesson will guide you in making a survey and environmental scanning to determine market trends on products made of bamboo, wood, and metal. You will also learn the factors that affect customer preference or choice of products, the sources of finishing materials, accessories, designs, and how to apply survey results in enhancing and decorating the products. Survey on products made of bamboo, wood, and metal. Survey is the act of examining a process or questioning a selected sample of individuals to obtain data about a service, product, or process. If you want to know that your customers would like to buy your product, you have to do a survey for innovations, creativity, durability, and decorations for improvement of the product. The conducted survey can also help you hone in the details around your products, services, and programs that your target buyers will appreciate most. Four steps to a successful survey. Step one, create the questions. Step two, ask the questions. Step three, tally the results. Step four, present the results. Tips in creating a survey form. One, define the purpose of your survey. Two, keep your survey focused. Three, keep the question simple. Four, use closed questions when possible. 5. Keep rating scales consistent. 6. Organize your survey logically. 7. Pilot test your survey. 8. Consider your audience when sending invitations. 9. Consider sending reminders. Sample product survey form. Survey through environmental scanning. Environmental scanning is the gathering and use of information about products, trends, events, and relationships in your environment. The knowledge gained would assist you in planning your future course of action. For you to gain or maintain a sustainable competitive advantage, you must be ever vigilant and watching for changes in your environment. You must also be agile enough to alter your strategies and plans when the need arises. There are three ways of scanning your environment. To investigate product market trends, customer preference, type sources of finishing materials, and the different processes of enhancing products. These are the following types of environmental scanning. 1. Ad hoc scanning it is a short-term and frequent examinations usually initiated by a crisis. 2. Regular scanning studies done on a regular schedule once a year. 3. Continuous scanning It is also called continuous learning. This is a continuous structured data collection and processing on a broad range of environmental factors. Most business people have a feeling that in today's uncertain business continuous scanning is the best method to use. This allows you to act quickly, take advantage of opportunities before competitors do, and respond to environmental threats before significant damage is done. Once information is obtained, use the information gathered to do the needed action. Improve what is needed to improve. 
purchase the needed materials beforehand, and apply the processes and techniques learned. Market trends on products made of bamboo, wood, and metal. Market trend is a perceived tendency of product markets to move in a particular direction over time in order to maximize sales. Products must cope up to the particular trend and make adjustments through product design. And for a product to create a mark called a niche in the market product must continuously innovate or adapt to the changing demands of customers. Innovation can come in the form of design function, package value for money, price add-ons, freebies, price cuts and promotional cards. The market of bamboo, wood, and metal products are available on the internet at present. Nowadays, e-commerce involves the sale or purchase of goods or services, whether between businesses, households, individuals, governments, and other public or private organizations conducted over computer networks. The goods such as products made of bamboo, wood, and metal can now be ordered over the network, but the payment and the ultimate delivery of goods or services may be conducted online or offline. The concept of e-commerce is now the trend in marketing, promotion, customer service, statistics, and usage patterns of products made of bamboo, wood, and metal. Customers' preferences of products. Customer preference is defined as a subjective taste of individual consumers. It is measured by consumer satisfaction with those items after they purchase the items. Factors that affect customer-consumer choice or preference. Factors that affect customer-consumer choice or preference. 1. Personal factors example gender, life stage, lifestyle and personality. 2. Social factors effects of people and groups influencing one another through culture and subculture, social class, reference groups, and family. 3. Economic factors such as income, education, employment, community safety, and social support. 4. Psychological factors examples motivation, learning, and socialization, attitudes and beliefs. 5. Environmental factors, social class, social group influences, family influence, personal influences, weather, etc. All customers or buyers have preferences for the products that they want. For example, in buying bamboo, wood, or metal products, consumers would have different tastes and needs. Younger customers would likely opt for colorful and decorated pieces while more mature ones would go for simpler and more practical pieces. The needs of customers will also dictate their buying preference. For example, a housewife who needs tools and equipment for her small kitchen would have a budget for bamboo or wooden products. However, owners of big restaurants would likely have a budget for heavy-duty kitchen tools which would mean that they will go for metal pieces that are more durable. Therefore, factors like age, occupation, budget, and needs affect the preference of customers in buying products. Although each customer has his or her own personal preferences, these preferences are affected largely by the effectiveness of the advertisement of the product.
Activity time. Direction. Make a survey form to find out the following. 1. Market trends on product made of wood, bamboo and metal 2. Customer preference on product made of wood, bamboo and metal 3. Types and sources of innovative finishing materials, accessories, and designs.